What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for Monday, April 15th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for today, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all media as a Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news now the first news topic for today we're going to be taking a quick look at the police lieutenant yoshidiha probably saying that wrong detective pikachu secret rare card inside of the new detective pikachu trading card game set i got this image from dromeric the cerebi webmaster like always links to the twitter and the sites and all that good stuff is going to be in the description below the card allows the player to look at the opponent's hand and then draw two cards kind of a way to get a peek into the hand and I like that you only could play one supporter card each turn when you play this card you put it next to your active Pokemon when your turn ends discard the card again pretty cool card in my opinion is one of the few cards featuring a real-life human which is kind of weird but also kind of fitting because of the live-action movie this set this is coming from this is definitely on my wish list when it comes to detective Pikachu trading card game pools so let me know what you guys think of this upcoming card in the comments section below and while we on the topic of the trading card game let's jump into the next news story which is again coming from cerebi.net and it involves z crystal trainer cards making their way into the trading card game a feature that has been announced for the next trading card game set in japan this set is now implementing the z crystals into the training card game as a pokemon tools with gx attacks but it can be also utilized on pokemon that know a certain move this specific example works Works on Pokemon that know the move tackle. The card is part of the upcoming set Sky Legends. From the little bit we know about Sky Legends, it's set to include at least 54 cards that will be released on April 26. This set will also include the Jesse and James card, the Victini card, and of course the Trio Bird card, which has all three legendary birds on one GX card. Again, pretty cool to see Z Crystal start to make their way into the Pokemon training card game, with them being a huge factor in the Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon games is great to see them being utilized in a great way, in my opinion, in the trading card game format. Let me know what you guys think of Z Crystals entering the trading card game, as well as what other Z Crystals or Z moves and stuff like that would you like to see make its way over to the trading card game format. Now, moving on to Pokemon Go news, and let's start off by just recapping what happened this past weekend during the Pokemon Go Bag On Community Day. My experience experience was pretty basic and uneventful. I caught one shiny with no Pokestops nearby because I'm out here in Switzerland and in no man's land. Pretty okay, pretty uneventful. Caught a ton of Bagons, but again, only landed on one shiny. And obviously, I evolved it all the way up to the Salamence, so I have a shiny Salamence, which is pretty cool. But there was a few issues, like always, in the Asia Pacific regions where players were facing connective issues. As you guys know, Niantic and these community days, is it's like off and on. So Sometimes it's run perfectly, sometimes there's hiccups and stuff going on, and that's exactly what people faced during this past weekend. Niantic ended up giving that region a few extra hours for the community game, and there is an issue right now where people evolved their Bagons all the way up to Salamence, and it did not learn to move in that Pacific region, and the community is kind of pretty much like demanding Niantic to try to give them a way to fix that, but as of right now, Niantic is silent on the issue. We have more up updates once that kind of gets resolved or if it does get resolved i'll be letting you guys know but let me know how did your guys bag on community day experiences were did you end up getting a shiny did you even participate and if you did how many shinies did you got to pick up for the community day event now while we're talking about pokemon go events today starts another event for the mobile game the legendary raid week from now until monday april 22nd latios will be available in level 5 raid and will also be a chance to be shiny. So this is pretty cool. If you're into shiny hunting in Pokemon Go, you have a week to hunt down this shiny legendary in raids for the first time. I personally don't raid myself due to the lack of gyms in my area. So let me know if you're going to be heading out with a raid group in your 
support area in the comment section below to grab yourself a shiny Latos. Now the last and the, probably the biggest news story of the day is that Niantic has detailed the progress that will be used to purchase the tickets for Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago for 2019. This is coming from the Niantic Tick Lab HelpShift.com, which was of course tweeted and pushed out by Niantic and Pokemon Go and the Pokemon Company. But let's jump over to Cerebi.net of course for the good recap because the article that Niantic posted up was pretty juicy and long. I am going to leave that in the description below if you want to check it out. But Cerebi got the highlights for the recap. It says when it begins, you'll be able to enter in a drawing to get a ticket through the app under the event section in the main menu. It says from there, you can enter the draw. If you win a place, you will be notified by an email and then have the ability to then claim tickets through the game selection and select the date, time, and amount of tickets you wish to buy. This has to be done within 48 hours and will be done in waves until all tickets are sold. These tickets are then shared with other desired players, but you have to be great friends in order to send them a ticket. At present, details are not known when we will start being able to buy tickets. And I think it's going to be pretty soon, obviously, with the Chicago Community Day approaching fast. They do want us to buy tickets at least a month out in advance. Now, I don't think this is a picture perfect system, but it's definitely a step up from what happened last year and how they distribute tickets last year. So I am happy about that with people using bots and reselling tickets and stuff. It was a mess. But I want to hear from you guys in the community and see what you guys think of this method of selling tickets. Again, I do think it's pretty cool. Let's hope that this all boils over well and, you know, the people that want to go get a chance to go. Because, you know, you want to see the community that wants to be there, there and having fun, having a good time. I will not be attending this Chicago Community Day. I will not be in Chicago during this time. This is around the same time as E3. So I will be doing a lot of reactions and other stuff as far as other content on this channel during the, around that time. As you guys know, I'll do reaction videos and, you know, hopefully we have tons of sword and shield stuff to go over. So let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be one of those people that shell out money for these tickets to head out to Chicago and enjoy the community day. Now that is going to be all for today's news. Please let me know your thoughts on everything we covered from the tickets on how they're going to be given out for the Pokemon Go Fest for 2019. Your thoughts on the last community day, the bag on community day. Did you enjoy the event? And your thoughts on the Latois raid inside of the Pokemon Go. Also, let me know your thoughts on these trading card game updates that they're adding with the Detective Pikachu set being released and the Sky Legends adding Z Crystal to the game. Are you interested in trying out these Z Crystals in this format of the trading card game format anyway? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow on Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one, so if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.